So, hi there, my name's Richard Warner, Senior Pre-Sales from Poly. Today we're demonstrating the Polycom X50 range, integrating the Google Voice. So, the first thing that we look at is, uh, these are the range of the Google Voice devices, or Google Voice certified uh, VVX devices. So we have, for instance, at the back the VVX 450, uh, we have the VVX 350 here and the VVX 250 here. We've also recently just achieved certification for the VVX 150, which is a black and white display device, um, which basically means the full range of the uh, X50 device is now certified. To give you an idea, it's it's the uh, primarily it's probably about the screen real estate, and also things like USB connectivity. So, for instance, uh, these devices have multiple USB ports. This device has a single USB port. Uh, I'm actually using the USB port on this one with a Wi-Fi dongle to enable it to be Wi-Fi connected. So I actually have no cable other than the power attached to that device, and it's now connected over Wi-Fi. Uh, these devices have USB on the side and the back, which enables me to do Wi-Fi and potentially also a dongle as well uh, for a, um, uh, a headset or something along those lines. The first thing you want to be able to do if you take a uh, phone out of the box is that you want to be able to provision it. So in order to be able to provision the devices, uh, first thing we can do is plug in the device and let it boot up and connect it to the network, whether that's Wi-Fi or network, um, and then some PoE perhaps in the back. Uh, and then what we want to do is go into our Google Voice uh, admin portal and under there we have the ability to be able to set up a desk phone. So what we can see here for instance is the current model of the device that we're doing. Uh, and then we enter the MAC address for the device up uh, in here, the user that we wish to assign it for and an easy referenceable name. Okay, So those are the only things that we need to set up. But essentially a username, a name for the device and the MAC address of the device. As soon as I do that and hit save, that will then go ahead and provision that phone through the APIs in the back end so that that phone will now start to uh, reconfigure. So we should notice here that hopefully in a minute that phone's now rebooting and that's going through the provisioning so we should see that that device will now be Emir Voice. So that's now the phone up and running. Uh, it is now provisioned. And what I can now do is I can go to another device and there's your call incoming. So now I can answer the call and away you go. We're connected. And there you go, essentially, that's it. Uh, 5200 uh, UC, uh, which is currently certified. So this device is currently certified at the moment, um, certified so that you know we know all the buttons work, it's doing the desired quality, all the kind of things that you would expect to be able to use it for um, when you actually go to use that device. And the other thing that we're then looking to do is certify the rest of the range of devices um, or headsets. Uh, some of those will be going through the certification in order to become uh, fully functional devices within the Google environment. So we'd expect to see some of those hopefully appearing up uh, 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 shortly.